early. Alright, here goes. My first 300k adventure on the KTM 390. There's a fair bit of shingle on this loop, like core, about a third of it. A third of it might be shingle. That's where we're heading. Kaura Manui. Ohura. Back and beyond. Da 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 da. Bulvar National Park. Anyway, this is National Park. Um, we start heading down or across and down towards Kaura Manui. It's always a tricky one to say that one, but that's where we're heading. What are we? 84k into it. Continuous riding for 53 minutes. No problems whatsoever. Nothing to complain about. Seat feels good. Riding position feels good. Actually, looking at that gas station, I think I might just gas up. Like on the GS, geez, we get over 500k on a tank on this. Um, I'm not going to test it while I'm on my own. 105 kilometers for 4.5 liters. Now, back on the mission. Next right, 28 kilometers. Off you go. This bike is. Uh, inspiring confidence I don't think I'll ever be that sort of person to skid a little up but that's just not me I'm gonna say it it's a whole lot easier than the G is to bring through here <laughs> I don't know light nimble you don't need that humongous fear of dropping, you know, 200 and friggin' 80 kilos or whatever the hell it is on the ground. Crushing you to death. Brakes are really good, like. It's doing exactly what it's advertised to do. Look at this blooming countryside we've got here. Some of this loose stuff, you can feel the traction, I don't know, traction control come on. It's quite interesting. I'm not really used to that sort of a thing. Stops you skidding. I suppose I could turn all that off, but I don't know. It's just, it's not upsetting me. <laughs> Makes for a very stable ride. Wow, this is so cool in here. And it just starts getting better and better. Bugger all traffic. Well, not that I've seen anyone yet. This part of the road is the Forgotten Highway. Nine, ten, eight. Oh, I've lost count. <laughs> I think they're 11 or 12. Yes, so this Forgotten Highway goes all the way through to Whangamamana, Whangamamana, and on to Whanganui. We used to call it Whanganui. 
just don't really care what I call it as long as I don't upset people beautiful place as well we shall get there one day aha first time I did this road I missed this turn this is zoned out <laughs> road to road now this road takes us through to Ohura and another one down and another one down Ooh, it's a dirty brown looking river hey I've got another observation I've been giving it a lot of thought about these forward sloping pegs it seems to be everyone's biggest complaints first I'll just say if you don't like them change them now I'm going to tell you what I'm finding I'm actually really slotted in on them I've got my knees on the tank it's nice and narrow um, I'm leaning forward over my handlebars um, I'm really really enjoying their position at the moment it's feeling really really good let's see if I can show you my knees without falling off yeah I'm just I'm just pushed right in there it's uh, feels really comfy for me now bars maybe still a little low but um, I've got bar risers coming to we'll see if that's any better Ah, oh, here we go. It's all right, girls. You shouldn't be on the road. <laughs> I got another one. Heard you were here. <laughs> oh, here's more of them. Still standing, still no problems. Really enjoying this. Just changing the battery. This uh, mod on this camera, it sucks the life out of your batteries. Um, yeah, having a great ride. Not finding anything to complain about, really. She's going re really, really well. I'm saying really a lot, but the bike's going well. I've got my bag on there today. I'm going to go and try and charge this. Because the 390 has a USB port. <laughs> How cool is that? That's a tight one. That over there is Ohura. No offence Ohura, but we're just going to skip you by today. Just going to consult the map, because this is uh, this is all new road now. So 1.2k, hang a there. Okay, now what does it say? Well, 43k, that's us. Right, two hours into it. Just gonna cruise this one out. Brand new road. Oh, she's wobbly sitting down. Oh, I see. Look at the stones. A little bit stony out. Jada bars. Oh, awesome. Right, how far have we got? 6k. 6k turn left hey bunny whoops <laughs> eyes on the road Matt especially in this loose shit <laughs> whoops <laughs> Oh, 
road subsiding. I know I keep saying it, but you, know, you forget what the country looks like when you're stuck at home. Let me Wow That's so nice Here we go, I was just up there This is idyllic I think that's the right word for I want to live here Just what a peaceful place Not sure I could do my job here though, there's no internet <laughs> There's no nothing, maybe that is my new job Doing nothing in the middle of nowhere For no reason oh, We might have to make another decision Alright, let's consult the map Straight ahead for another 2.7 kilometers Off to Parahika Oh no, more nice stuff oh, It's just continuous I can't say any of these words. I used to know some of this uh, pronunciation. I'm bad. Maybe I'll work on that. Kohanui Station. That is an impressive sign. Once again, I better consult the map. More roads to explore. Not this trip. Potaka Road. Kumara Road. I'm pretty sure that's the one we want. I've got a feeling that that road there goes out to the coast. I did look at them on the map, but I think I'll do a, a stick to three hundred on the 390. And we'll do that another day. I think I'm pretty safe to come back into road mode now actually got a sneaky suspicion I've been here before we came through on a big ride uh, yeah peer peer 14k oh uh, straight on 2k's to left <laughs> okay straight on this is us Now the reason why I'm following the map and not just winging it is I want to see if the um, the plotting program I use is true to form uh, So far it's been really really good So what I did is I plotted the map loaded it onto my phone sucked it into whatever this app is Beeline I think it's called and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Where are we up to? 193 kilometers, three hours and five minutes into my ride. I've stopped for a wee. I've done Tarsil. I've done gravel. I've talked to turkeys. How does Matt feel about his KTM 390? I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Would I recommend this bike? I would recommend this bike. Is that clear enough? Yes. This is an all day adventuring bike. It's not a motocross bike. I never intended it to be. I bought it to do this sort of adventuring. Main road, back road, difficult roads, more turkeys, dodging turkeys, Get off the road! Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, 
been standing on the gravel almost the whole way, done nearly 100 k's of gravel, uh, sitting on the tar seal, buttons do what they're supposed to do, bikes doing what it's supposed to do, yeah, awesome, oh, do I feel the wind, I'm on a freaking bike, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I ride a bike. I like the wind. Is it noisy in my helmet? It's noisier inside my head. <laughs> uh, is the seat too hard? Nope. My ass is fat. If your if your bum hurts on your seat, eat a pie, bro still got 150 to go loving it completely oh why I'm talking would I take the GS over this if I was with Juliet if we were two up I would take the GS if I'm on my own would I take the GS uh, nope I'm pretty confident now that I could knock off a four or five hundred k day um, easily on this anyway that's my honest opinion not making shit up I'm not brand um, orientated I just say what's on my mind hey my love <laughs> alrighty over and out it looks like I might get wet I know my gear is good but here's the thing because my ass is fat or my legs are short or my bike is tall I'm talking about on the GS I split the ass end of my pants my liner pants um, yeah I'm running through my head what the next solution is going to be I think I'm going to get external rain gear um, then you can put it on take it off easily just zipping it in is a bit annoying Anyhow, the gear was great. I did not get wet. It's part of the adventure. Tamaranui that way. Uh, I'm just going to park over here. Double check the map. I must have picked a little road in, through those hills up there that I just missed. Not a big deal. Um, this is a little shortcut I missed. Mm. Oh, I remember seeing that. Horizons region. And there we go. Just stopped um, for a quick bite to eat because one of the things I have learned riding alone if you don't stop to eat you get very very tired without realizing it when you get very very tired on a motorbike it gets a little dangerous anyway I remembered to eat let's see how this goes for another 24 kilometers then we do a wobble up into there back around and down and away we go this is just such a good ride today it's good to be standing again too actually still comfortable just lock my knees back in It's like going into a canyon. Except not as deep. Oh, cool.
Now that's the elusive square top mountain we see for miles. I can see lots of radio towers up on it. Interesting. It's a school. Oh, I think I'm going this way. That's a nice little school. Good job with your navigating map. Fluke that one. <laughs> what a nice school. And we grew up in country schools. Brings back memories. That's actually a really nice looking school. Good job whoever looks after that. Oh wow. Flying fox at a school. I love it. We're heading back down onto the Tarumanui Turangi Road. Um, anyhow, I can see why people want to live out here. This is really, really nice. Oh yeah, love the dream. Oh, I don't dream about horses. <laughs> Alrighty, 274 kilometers. 4 hours 20 minutes I uh, thought I'd better check in and let you know how I feel No problems whatsoever Oh, I'm not a great navigator No, no, we'll be right Stay on the big road map um, Anyway, what was I saying? Feeling real good uh, Still comfortable, no pains anywhere My butt's not aching um, shoulders good, feeling loose, um, I think I've got off the bike four times now, uh, just, you know, had a wee, had a quick bite to eat, changed the GoPro batteries, still feeling really, really good, um, like I keep saying, I could do this all day long on this bike, so if you're thinking of one of these puppies for touring, put some gear on the back, jump on your bike, ride all day, easy peasy. Um, I think I'm about uh, probably an hour from home and then that's my loop done. Um, another 70, 70 kilometers to go. I probably haven't talked about today is um, what's the twisties like on this thing definitely better than some I've ridden it's just effortless it's absolutely effortless there was a couple of old oots I don't think their steerage is very good. <laughs> All their drivers are a little bit under the weather. So rudely interrupted by some people in the way. Let's talk about the twisties. 45k corners, coming in hot, 70k. I don't know what else to tell you. Not scary, just normal. It's just like go around the damn corner. <laughs> yep. No precautions, like um, go too fast, and the rubber will come out from under you. Yep, it's not really something to talk about because it handles so damn well. That's really what I'm trying to say. So what's the cornering like, Matt? <laughs> wow, thanks for asking. The cornering is really good. If you can ride a motorbike, you can ride this bike around corners. <laughs> okay. And what tyres have you got on, Matt? Well, I don't know. I just relied on the guys at Patterson O'Connor 
to figure that out. And whatever is on, he's not slipping or wobbling or skewing or all those other nasty things you hear about. Fantastic tyre for what I've done today. Shingle road. Shingle more road. Oh, I do know the Continentals. Stay there. Tiny little brains and those things. Anyway, um, oh, here's the booby sign. Buying, buying. <laughs> I like the booby sign. And how was that on the suspension mat? Oh, uneventful, sorry. Just uneventful. <laughs> Let's ride the damn bike. Oh, look what I found. The main road to Turangi. 53 k's to go. Nearly home. Alright, peace out. This might be it. The rest of the road is kind of boring. Had a great ride, nearly 300 k's done, four and a half hours on my ass on this thing, still love it, see ya!